This year, uh, Mount Pleasant is Winery of the Year and it has in fact shares a lot of things with Tobilk because it goes back to 1880. I mean, Mount Pleasant's blessed with, with what I believe are four great vineyards, great vineyards in the Hunter Valley, but also great vineyards in Australia. Um, and when you spend time in the vineyards, you, you really get that sense of, of I guess, the vision and, and the heritage of O'Shea. He has been uh, taking small sections, small blocks of vineyards, which he's, he could see had special value, special quality and bottling these in 250 dozen, 500 dozen lots rather than say two or 3,000. You know, every time you produce a wine and, and show a wine, you're putting yourself out there and that, that's a very strong driver really to produce the best wine you possibly can. So we've got this now almost cascade of wonderful wines that we've never, we haven't seen them really since O'Shea. If we'd been, turn the clock back 60 years, you might recognise some of these. So he's really brought back uh, the legacy of O'Shea um, big time. There are so many great producers, so many great winemakers in Australia, um, and to be, for us to be recognised um, by you know, Australia's leading commentator on wine in, in James Halliday is, is such a great honour. My attitude is I'm very serious about what I do, um, but I really try not to take myself too seriously. Um, I, I, I want to make the best wines I possibly can, but I also want to have fun doing it and enjoy it. When um, Annie Cleminger rang up uh, Jim Chatto and said, Jim, I've got something to tell you, but first you'd better sit down. And he said, what, has he died? And uh, Annie bursts out laughing. And of course he was referring to me, <laughs> not Len. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. <laughs>